It's so easy to stand out nowadays. We are currently in a world where everyone is striving to be normal and to fit in. Everyone is too afraid of straying too far away from the normal path and be left out from the rest. At the same time, everyone feels like they deserve the world while remaining unchanged. You have your friends, colleagues, family around you saying that they want to be rich, they want to be fitter, want to be smarter. Everyone has that same mentality of wanting to be better, but no one is actually taking any real action. Everyone remains in this passive state of wanting to receive without giving. All you need to do is look around you and you'll know what I mean. Everyone are just normal and that guy or girl that stood out to you, they are doing something different. However, if you look at it another way, it's not entirely a bad thing. It basically shows how easy it is for you to stand out. The moment you set your mind to dare to be different, to simply take action on what needs to be done to achieve greatness, you'll stand out immediately. In fact, you don't have to take any drastic action to go above and beyond, wake up at 5am to go monk mode or cut out all sugar from your diet. All you need to do is to do what others are not doing, even if it's just a little and you are already the top few percentile of those around you. You have to understand this. Everyone is so afraid of being different that the moment you are, you are ahead of them. Everyone is following the typical route of going to school and going to their 9 to 5 job. It's not wrong, but the moment you dare to be different and seek an unconventional path, the possibility of you succeeding is much higher since not many are doing it in the first place. The failure rate could be high because not many have done it. But at the same time, the returns on its success are typically way higher compared to the conventional. Getting a 9 to 5 job is not wrong. What's wrong is you doing what everyone else is doing at your workplace. If you do what everyone's doing, how else do you expect your supervisors to grade you higher than the rest? You have to be different. It's easy to be different since everyone is not doing it. If you are in a meeting where everyone is too afraid to voice their opinions, the moment you do, you gain visibility among everyone else. I'm not kidding you. Everyone is too afraid to be different nowadays. Back when I was still studying in school, the people that I'm naturally competing against are my classmates. It can range from our school results, our hobbies, to our fitness level. Basically, anything that can be measured upon, my competitors are naturally my classmates. I wasn't exactly exactly a muscle head or an avid gym goer by any chance. All I did was exercise regularly, be it going for morning runs every day or hitting the gym after school. Yes, I do enjoy working out, but most importantly, I was doing something that not many people bothered to even do. With that, I'm not kidding you, I'm always in the spotlight when it comes to topics in regards to fitness. Whenever people talk about who's the fittest, fastest or the one with the most aesthetic body, one way or the other, my name was always brought up, even from people that I've never met. It's so easy to stand out and for the longest time, I had no idea what I did to deserve all this attention. All I did was do what I enjoy and I became that guy among a group of people that hates exercising. In fact, if you think about it, how many people in your class, let alone the whole world, could do just one single pull up? Being fit is one way of standing out from the rest and definitely the more obvious one in school apart from your academics. The moment you study hard and get good grades, you are already standing out on your own right. Sometimes you don't even have to be the very top to stand out. You could be that second place guy that got all the attention for almost beating that indisputable math genius. Furthermore, how many second places are there? There's only one. There can only be one. By daring to be different and daring to compete, you are at a place where no one else is apart from yourself. No matter what it is that you are interested in, if you want to stand out, all you need to do is to dare to be different. Stop following the crowd, take action, and keep going at it. If you think you're not standing out, maybe you're just looking at it at the wrong angle. Being a YouTuber seems to be something that everyone is doing. You went on to subreddits or follow other channels in your niche. It seems like there's just way too many people doing the same thing as you, and you wonder how on earth are you supposed to be different. But here's the thing. Look around you, how many people are actually creating YouTube videos around you? Watching them, definitely, but not creating them. If there are, the niche that they are in are definitely not the same as you. The whole reason why you think there's oversaturation is because you are looking at a zoo full of polar bears and assumes that the whole world is full of them. Compared to the world, you are that rare diamond that's willing to overcome negative societal impressions of YouTubers, putting in hundreds or thousands of hours into your videos regardless of the result. And most importantly, putting yourself out there to be judged by the world. More often times, all of us also have that something that we have always wanted to do, but are too afraid to do because we are afraid of what others think. We are afraid to be different, to stand out, whether it be starting a YouTube channel, pursuing a singing career in a society that values professions such as engineers and doctors, or migrating to a different country to seek new challenges. But if we are so afraid of being different, so afraid of how others would judge you, when else would you do what you have always wanted to try? Are you going to wait until you are on your deathbed before you start regretting your decisions? It's easy to stand out, it really is. All you need to do is just pluck up that courage to be different. It's difficult to accept that fact that you could be judged by others. But that's exactly how you stand out. That's exactly how you know that you're doing the right thing. If you want to be that flower in a world full of leaves, you must have that courage to face all that judgments. At the end of the day, what others think honestly doesn't really matter. What do you stand to gain by caring about what others think of you? All that energy that you spend caring about all of them could have been used on things that truly matters to you. At a certain point, you will start to ask yourself why you are so afraid of what others think. All that matters is what 
you want. If you want to seek success, if you want to be happy, if you want to pursue what you have always wanted to but never dared, you must gather that courage to be different.